like earlier I had explained you the lesson. Now from this lesson only, coordination and controlling, there are few questions. So there are different questions I would be asking from the controlling topic, from the coordination topic, from the planning topic. So there are different topics we discussed and it is really important to have a look at these questions and then try to understand the answer. The answers are really easy but first you need to understand the chapter and you should not uh, just uh, get confused. I will explain you with one example. When you want to plant a seed, then what do you do? The first step is you just put the seed in the soil. The second step is just you give some water. And what do you do? So similarly, there are steps. What did you do earlier and what are you doing now? So similarly, there are some steps involved in moving ahead. So that is uh, similarly. It is uh, important that we think and observe and see our plant growing. Like there are different flowers and flower had, has different branches. It moves in the upward direction and it grows. So similarly, we should have a vision. Now the question one you have seen, this is about the controlling. You have to state uh, the important four characteristics of the control. The answer has been discussed in the video. Now this is question number two. We already have asked question one. Now this is second question. You have to list the steps involved in the process of controlling. This is the sign of controlling. Like we have already discussed, uh, the controlling also has a process. So we need to follow the process. Answer has been discussed in the video. The third question, first question was different, second question was also different. And this is the third question about planning and control. You have to explain the relationship between planning and control like all these uh, points we had discussed. So you have to tell the relationship between your planning and control. We can, we already know that planning is important, uh, control is important, action is important and all are different things. Control is important, planning is also linked with this. Answer can be seen in this same video. Now this is question number four. Earlier we had asked questions about the planning, control and process of control. Now this is a different question. You have to state the reasons of importance of control. There are different steps involved in the process of control. For example, when we are doing any work, we are doing planning, we are doing controlling, and controlling is a continuous process. Similarly, we support each other and we share our views. It's a kind of controlling only. So controlling is important. You have to state the reason. Answer has been discussed. Earlier we had asked uh, four questions and this fifth question is different. All the questions are different. Now this five question, question number five. In this lesson we already have explained about the vision, planning, coordination and different words. They all are, they all are interlinked and how to minimize the errors and mistakes, how to do controlling. It's a cyclic process. It's a continuous process. All the points we already have discussed. So 
planning, process, control, all these are really very important. So to avoid and to minimize the mistakes in together, in totality for better modification and better growth, this is required. Now question of number five is asking about there are different levels in any work. in any company, any, at, at any workplace, there are different people working at different levels in government organization, in private organization, or you can consider any place. They all should work in a team spirit, with a team spirit, and for better coordination. So the question is, coordination is needed at all levels. You have to comment. Answer has been discussed in the video. So thank you all.